Hello everyone, Tonight, today is uh, Thursday, September the 1st around 11.44 p.m. New York time. Guys, very simple. What we're going to do now is trying to make sense of the market. The market is being moving. The dollar defined uh, a short-term trend favoring the dollar. And now all we need to do is see the possibilities that we can see in front of us before a big move. Now, we're going to start with the U.S. dollar index in the four-hour chart. The U.S. dollar index, as we spring early today in in the U.S. dollar video, we can see four scenarios. The first scenarios: this is A, B, C. This is a triangle wave B, and then we're gonna go higher in the C wave flat to either 75 50 area or 77 area. That's the, the first scenario. Second scenario: a biggest daily triangle when we got A, B, and we're going to go higher in C now to the same area. Fair scenario is A, B, C, this is wave 4, and then from there we got 1, and we're going higher in wave 2 as a flat and going lower. And the last scenario is a bullish count, which we can call 1, a, B, C, a flat two, and then one, two, three, four, five, this is one, this is two, and then a nest, one, two, and another one, two. We knew about this scenario all along, but it's so powerful and so ugly that we haven't presented to you guys. Now, question, why we are presenting this scenario today? Because we see something and we've been mentioned for the last two days that something is cooking within the market what I refer for that is the idea that I see many pairs showing risk aversion within the market but huge setups that if those setups come out to be good guys the dollar is gonna get strong now still we keep the same bias which is against the dollar because that it, it looks like that there is more chance that any of the previous scenarios that I present to you the, to you guys the bearish one are the one in place that this huge nest only think about it a one and look at look the big flat right here and then look like a leading diagonal one another two almost a hundred percent retracement and then another one another two and almost a hundred percent retracement so technically it's too contracting but earlier ways wise there is nothing wrong so this should be the count if the dollar break higher now as a professional tra trader guys why you need to worry about it only this part right here that's what we're gonna take a look right now we're gonna see the dollar in the one hour and that's all you need to care guys that's all you need to care what is this this is nothing more than one two one two one two one two and then you got three four five this is three a four and a five and then we are in this cycle that started here one two three four why I say that that's all you need to care because the worst can happen is from here that the the dollar does this lower higher and no matter what the count is all you need to care is the move after this high if the move needs to prove to be corrective then the dollar is on the move if from here the move is imported guess what guys you don't you're gonna sell the dollar after the first five you're gonna sell it here for a possible move to the dollar to get to 70 area so don't worry about how many scenarios I present to you in the daily all you guys need to worry about it is that after the four after a five a four and a five it's gonna be some dollar winnings that's the one that you need to understand and that's the one that you need to watch it why because all these moves need a correction after the separation that you guys see right here 
Now, let's move on to the individual pairs so I can explain to you guys why I'm mentioning this. Okay, guys, the reason why we have waited that long and now we are presenting the bullish count is this that this is a monster, I call a monster nest in the S&P. Oh, we know that in the S&P, we are looking an area around 400. Now, I don't see this pair of the S&P trading almost 900 points to the downside without dollar strength. Because that's a chaos. That's a chaos. And the dollar always been and always will be a safe haven currency. So that's why I'm presenting the count today because we are pretty close to define a possible wave two and we are entering in an area which is the biggest set of all, which is the wave three. So either we invalidate the, the bearish view or we're gonna get into the setup. So let's present the count today and that way you guys understand and that way you guys understand that there is a little chance that the dollar can get bullish. There is a little chance that the dollar can get bullish. Another reason why we are presenting the count is the is the pound okay and the reason is and I'm gonna put cable let me put cable in a hours as you guys know cable is possible in a daily triangle now this move today in cable 6128 is almost a hundred percent retracement of this move right here guess what guys that's bearish on cable very bearish on cable now that's telling me that this move is a three ways that's telling me that this low around 157 is gonna be taken and that's telling me that if I see cable in the daily this count which is the triangle is very possible and I don't see cable trading for 161 to around 151 without dollar strain so that deep of cable here that deeper correction of moving cable which looks like an ABC or a nesting is telling me that the dollar can be doing a trap to the bear side and I have the obligation to present the counts to you guys. Now, let me take a look at the euro. Because the euro is denying that scenario in some degrees. The euro, as you guys know, we are favoring a flat and going higher. Still, let me be clear, we are bearish dollar. We're seeing any recovery in the dollar as a possibility to sell the dollar at a good rate. Onto today, onto now, that's our view. But that's the we see in the euro dollar to get to around 141, 140, 140 and change in an extension 139.52 area before going higher. Now if we take a look at the dollar in the, and the euro in the weekly we can see that the euro in the weekly this decline and this decline as sharp as they look it was in a five-way move so we don't need a five-way move here to get to 114 we don't need that all right Another thing is that the euro do not need to go down there. The euro can be doing a nest to the upside when it is. One, two, one, two, and this is all we're gonna get in the correction. And maybe can go as low as 130 
when the pound goes lower and when the S&P goes lower. I want to be clear about those scenarios, guys. Still, we believe that the euro is bullish and we're going to keep the bullish bias on the euro until the bio prove me wrong, right? That, I want to point it out that today, I don't want to get into more individual pairs, guys, because it's a repetition, nothing happened. Send the afternoon. If you guys want more information, just watch the forum tape and you record it and you're going to be available to get it. So let's leave it there and remain, baby guys. For tonight, we see Dora Witness. And remember, tomorrow is the non-fine pair at 8.30. Thank you, guys.